How's it going bros, Jumping Dynamo here and be most welcome to another Hogwarts Legacy episode. So let's get going with the main missions. And that being said, oh, before I proceed, I have made some changes to our gear. So I have, I'm currently using these gloves. I didn't change their appearance because I think they look badass. Then I changed the glasses from these ones to these ones, so since the appearance is also pretty similar, if not the same, to the ones that we were using, so I kept the original appearance of these glasses as well. And I'm using these, these rubs this rub right here and I changed the appearance to be similar to you know the traditional one from the from Ravenclaw and finally I'm using this outfit the only one we have uh, with this appearance right here I think it's pretty pretty cool you know especially with you know the house robe it's very very good oh and I'm using the scarf but I just hid it and we still have no hats because I'm stupid and I sold them out uh, but okay so we're still using this handle so that's basically it okay so let's Get going. I think we have a fast travel into the into the greenhouse uh, there we go okay so let's go to the herbology class Hello, Professor. I like this professor. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous <laughs> friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Jesus Christ. This is even more annoying here than it was in the movie. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. There we go. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. <laughs> All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. 
Now for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Okay, so let's have a brief word with the professor. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I do not like this guy. Not even a bit. All I have. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why the very idea? I bet that. Okay, so let's grab this and speak. Speak to the teacher. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's oh, see so how to balance my star thistle arrangement. If can we have our own oh, garden? Is that it? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, oh. as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. The leaves of this additional herb are used in the Wiganweld potion. Dittany seeds can be purchased at the Magic Neap and can be grown in pots of any size. Oh. Okay. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited <laughs> to uses outside of a cauldron. Yeah, I like those Cabbages in my suit. do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Oh. That's good to know. What should I be doing right now? I'd like you to get some hands-on experience with the oh, Chinese chomping cabbages. It. They're in the greenhouse, just across the footbridge. Mr. Pruitt will assist you with them. Sorry about that, guys. Um, oh, now remember, a wand is not for a this to be. Can I plant? Is there any other pots available here? That would be very useful. Okay, let's go. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, oh. thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. 
didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Ravenclaws too. At least you did. Sebastian is a good lad, man. Do we have anything here at the balcony? Nope. So let's go downstairs then. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cab. Go on, grab a few. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Oh, hell one. Ah, oh, I see. And type R. Sanchez. Venomous. Look at that! Oh, Trump and anything they can get their uh, mouths on. Mum plot Revelio last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the D gnoming, <laughs> but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. I see. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos <laughs> out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Oh, that's, Take your time. that was a wonderful finding, class. guys. You can use cabbages during fights. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, can I just uh, return to Professor Garlic? That helpful reminder as to why we should always Since wear time we return our dragon to a table in a biology classroom. Our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Okay, so... Those mandrakes are really relishing their new pot. Only cost me Is my this... damned hearing. Should I wait three minutes? Make anything grow. We must first understand it. That goes for plants as new well as fungus. available. Let me check it, guys. So we have oh the potion class. Let's go to the potion class. And the thing I want the most, the flying class, because I want a freaking broomstick so I can travel around the map. Okay, so... You can't imagine! 
imagine how inconvenient travel was <laughs> Revelio. Yeah, I know that I've been to Potions Classroom in the past video. Let's go. What, 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 what? Let's go, little key. Revelio. Come on. I like this puzzle. It's not really a puzzle, but shouldn't that be all of us? Like someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogwarts. Speed test. Professor Black, I saw an speed and attention test. Whoa, we have another one. Yes. There we go. Right here. Come on. Ah, sorry guys, I missed this one. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's begin potions class. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. There we go. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay, it's on, bitch. So... It's collect. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rule. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? 
He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, no, if I do say so myself. Want. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. <laughs> You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Ugh, I can get the feather. I'll get you the Fupa feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. <sighs> this is the feather. Your potion stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Okay, so let's speak with these guys. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. My Wiganweld potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Oh. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Your potion. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I think he's still an Auror, man. Judging by the letter he received, but. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's brew the potion. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. That's what I'm talking about. And be thorough. So. Tinny or Clum. No, I need to wait. Brewing time. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! <laughs> oh! Dragon duck! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. <laughs> Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. <laughs> Some points from Ravenclaw as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> no, I'm sorry about I'm that. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. 
and you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. <laughs> it was rather brilliant, though. Don't I better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. Let me... So, I only have one vegan valve potion. I have one of these. No, let me... Oh, what's... I need... Hard clump juice. I don't know where to get it, but... I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the wiggle mold potion. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from a fellow Ravenclaw. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. I have an egg for everything, <laughs> as it seems. I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation, is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Okay, see you soon, friend. To see a creature get this guy down. seems like a good guy as well. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. Um. Ugh, my robes are going to just... reek from Gary. Revelio. Inspiration for the rest of term. Cast a Revelio here. Oh. Let's speak with That Weasley. was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Mm. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. This guy <laughs> seems like an idiot. <laughs> um, okay, so... But before I do anything else, I just need to... Configuration culture, so let me just check one thing. Yeah, so I need to successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodge rolling 10 times. Okay, next time we engage into battle, we'll try to accomplish this objective here so we can get Expelliarmus. That's exciting, guys. So let's meet the girl. So the map. Of the waypoint. Why don't they just give me a broomstick so I can fly there? 
I know, I just don't shut my mouth with the broomstick, but I really need one. I'm not even joking. Small creature, they, they tend to hide underground. Isn't there a more quick way of doing this? Quick way of doing this it will be a lot, a lot better, guys. Okay, so let's go. Oh, let's see if we can gather some ingredients. Sorry, let's go. So this is Agrid's at Can we enter this house? This hut? It's just empty. Deluxe house clock. Oh, I like the sound of it. At least, um, what the hell? Oh, I should investigate. What? Wait, 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 wait. First, let me just change the gear here. The gear here. The gear here. Um, we have uh, these. Mm. I don't. Yeah, I like this one. I like these ones. Oh, I see. 13. Oh, it's like a cloak itself, so. Okay, so let's. Oh, we're almost there since we're almost reaching level 13, so. That's, that's good. Okay. Okay, and okay. So, what the hell are we missing? Rebellion. Oh, I see. We might surmise that it's a world's game. Okay. Then we have like this underground cave, is that it? Let me just check it very quickly. Oh! I need this. And I need this. And I need this. Awesome! And I need those as well.
Incendio. Hmm. Levy answer. Can I wait just a second? Akio. Oh. Got it. Before I go there, let me just Okay, never mind. Let's let's go inside. And... This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Revelio. So it seems like we had nothing here, so let's go back to the main mission since we're done here. Let's try one thing, guys. Akio. Let's get going then. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm aware that we can brew potions and plant stuff because we bought those uh, spellcrafts things stuff. I don't know. Uh, in Oxmeat, so I am really thinking where should I place those those things so I can craft things whenever I like to. Let me speak with this girl. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley of the Bath. Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Hmm. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps if you understood my plight, you'd change your mind. Perhaps. What precisely do you need to retrieve and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Hmm. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. 
We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. So, I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. So let me just grab these these chests. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. These guys are keep muggles out. It was Hengist of Woodcroft. Very useful. Muggles have made life hard for us since the dawn of time. Can I just bard is a bit too hairy hearted for my taste? Yeah, I think. No. Oh. Yeah, they have these two chests. It's like a place right out of a storybook. I just need to get inside. And I don't have. Oh, maybe. Whoa, I like this one. Okay, I have. So I mean I like these the most. Therefore Yes. What? can decide which one I like the most. No, oh, definitely this one. I have the... Um, the escape right here. Oh, this should be the... Oh, I see. Hmm. So I think it's, you know, the owl's robe. So let me just, I know that I have a quest, I want this one to be the active one and I need to speak with I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Yeah. Pardon me, is everything alright? 
Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. So, go to the carving camp. So, that's something we may do next video, but for now... Uh, I'm just going to... I'm just going to stick to main missions. So, let me do this main mission and then finish the video. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Yeah. So, we already have the fast travel. After what Ranrock... Ah, it is good to see you, my friend. Let's talk with Natty. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack, and I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. But you were not there. Stand. Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason <laughs> my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. 
I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. Hmm. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. So we need to investigate. Be on your guard. How nice to see you, my... I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? What the hell is happening, guys? They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a dog shit nip hmm. back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. Oh, yeah. Students, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. What are you doing? Oh no, wait, wait, wait. I need to move. One. Come on. Am I. Is this counting for something? Let me check. Oh, yes, it is. Leave him alone, leave him alone. I'm a pork pie, my boy. Oh. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Okay. So, the collection section of a field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights of enemies such as their weaknesses to certain spells. Do you really think you can fix We can hold them off! Oh. I'm not going anywhere with you. Oh. you take this student over my dead body! Incending <laughs> Release me! <laughs> Not today! You're to regret that. You little brat. I hate heights. Akio. Let me check once again. Oh, we're done. That's good. Good, 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 guys. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his hmm. little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Hmm. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Okay. You're a researcher? 
Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Oh, was Merlin a Slytherin? That's near to me. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Hmm. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Okay, so let's... I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines Just on one the... second, guys. Why do I have this mark here? Just... Oh, yeah. No. No. Sorry. Okay. As well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm. This Rebellion. Is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Should we like... Incendium! No. Oh. The pyres. The flames make the pyre sink. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. Hmm. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. Oh. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. So. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. And do be careful out here. So now I've got what I needed. I these shall are return some to the additional of puzzles that we will have books. throughout yes. the game, which is awesome. We have three more. Is that it? Uh, appearances, Devin's to Golden Clown, okay. Our remaining house tokens. Okay, the Professor Fig about the map chamber. Okay. 
Different challenges offer different rewards. Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about it. Hmm. Yeah. I'm aware that we can run a business in um, in the game. Okay guys, so I think this is more than a perfect time to wrap this video. So thank you very much for watching guys, comment, subscribe, hit the like button. Really hope you enjoy it as much as I am enjoying playing it. Thank you once again, have a great day and stay safe, bye!